Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Guy Tanager and I am playing some Fallout 4. How much do you guys hate me for putting the episode cut where I did? I already got nothing. Okay, here we are. We are, uh, in the Institute. Um. Shit. Okay. I got a lot of these things. What am I doing? Yay! I helped. Oh, that's all it is. Okay. Don't worry about it. Now we've got all the things we can do. Um. Data. Anything here? We are inside the Institute. My son is here somewhere. Sean! Sean! John! Hello. Hi. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Okay. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. Are you? I know why you're here. You're not my son, are you? I'd no. I'd like to discuss things no? with you face to face. Okay. Please, step into the elevator. What if I don't wanna? Damn it! Inaccessible! Institute jumper. Started institutionalized. Please don't institutionalize me. Okay. Oh, button. I can Whoa. What do you think of us? I think you're a bunch of jackasses. That's what I think. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. You killed my husband and kidnapped my baby boy. Welcome to the Institute. Whoa. Oh my this god, it's a tree. The of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. Oh my god, For it's a tree. For a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity. It's a tree. Survival. It's a green tree. Decades of research, <laughs> countless experiments and trials. A shared vision of how Whoa. science can help shape the future. Oh my god, it's green plants! And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. You don't say! Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As okay. you see, it's above our... unstable. Okay. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. Okay. Wait. You are here to my, son! my son! My son, my son, my son, my son, my son, my son. Where? 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 You are here for your son. Yeah, damn straight I am! Sean! 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 Sean? Sean? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? 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 Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? <gasps> I'm your mom! Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Are you okay? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. <laughs> Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father, 
Father, help me! There's someone here, help me! Who father? is Father? Father, help me! Where is he? He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! You son of a bitch! Shot. S923, recall code Cirrus. Sean! Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's you don't say! We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional. And that you your don't say! Here has been fraught with challenges. I'm gonna shoot you in the Let's face. start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean! Give me Sean! The real Sean! Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. You don't say! Where's my son? I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Okay. Closer than you think. And that is I where? I realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. I've got like six Yet guns on me far, right now. And suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been... Re it's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. What? I am Sean. What? I am. <laughs> your son. Excuse me, what? How is that even possible? <laughs> Excuse me, what? He's a lot to take in. in Excuse me, what? You had no concept of the passage of time. I'm re unplugging my you were released from your mouse. There we go. And searching for the son you lost. You are my son? Then you learn that your well, son you, you look kind of Asian, and I guess I guess Nate was Asian, technically. You believe that ten years had passed. Okay. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And Wait a minute. Here I am, raised by the Institute. Kellogg didn't look like he'd aged that much. Kellogg didn't look like he aged that much. But if Kellogg was there when they grabbed Sean, how could 60 years have passed and this guy definitely looks older than Kellogg? How? I hope you're not too overwhelmed. They stole you. Kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. Excuse you. Necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future. Depends. Why didn't they wake up all three of us that and tell us this? The year 2227. The Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. Okay. Being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. And they needed specimens. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking. Yes. Then why didn't they take the all of you? To create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. Okay. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. So they needed Even a clean no sample. To shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. Sean. And then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. What about me? I was exactly what they needed. 
And so it Both me and the me. husband were the same, you know. Of the synthetic organic. Not radiated. Used to create every human like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. You were here the whole time! And you've. you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. You don't say! <laughs> you You're my son! Kellogg, there we go. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived. Then how do you look it older than him? I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What, then he killed your father? What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath? But you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? I would prefer you put a bullet in his face. Him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Well, there you Institute go. Institute technology prolonged his life. And oh, okay. That, there, there you go. <laughs> far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. Yeah, he tried to kill me. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. But you what still used your father's killer! To ease your mind. Nothing! Um, your dad! He never got to see you grow up. Neither did I. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over Monstrous? the of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral... Kellogg shot him! Unprovoked! Who my parents were. I accepted my situation... And that was that. With old age comes what? regret. And asking what if more often. But... What, like, what if Kellogg wasn't what a fucking psychopath and shot my husband? I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working <laughs> with this I don't even. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. What about the synths? But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. How so? <laughs> I lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. Okay. My hard work. Science! Sorry. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. What about yes. the synthetics? Give me time. What about the synths? I know there's more for us to discuss. But no, 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 no. Don't you do this. The Institute is on the verge of Son some of a monkey. important <laughs> breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I am I your mother, young old man. Amazing here. <laughs> I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? My son is older than me. <laughs> okay, then. You want me to stay here in... in the Institute? Yes, that is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? Kind of, yes. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I need to help people, though. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done. Because that's how you were raised. It's the simple truth. And I believe you know it, too. 
I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, Sean, a chance, a chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. Oh shit. The Institute is now your home. <laughs> it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. <laughs> She's from Mass Effect 3. You're notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. I broke. 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 Oh my god. Hi, son. Uh, about this synth. You mean the child? Yes. It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. What are you doing? Sean! What the deuce? Why build it to look like you? We've advanced the technology behind since to a point where this struck me as an interesting variation. What do you, you mean? Added, if you will. Modeling it after myself seemed only natural, what with the Institute's records and my genetics and physiology. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. Back online? That's a kid! Interact with him further. But back online? That's a kid! I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Oh my you god! Think you could love him like you would a real boy. Seriously, you really believe a human could love a synth? That's a difficult question. I suppose it depends on how closely we've managed to mimic human behavior and emotions. Yours is a unique position. You may be the only one that's truly able to answer these questions right now. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. Sean. Sean. Hello, mother. Oh, God! Time here. <laughs> I can't deal with this! I can't deal with this! I'm leaving! <laughs> oh, my God. I can't! I can't! I can't even! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's my son. Oh my god, he's my son. Oh my god, a green plant. Oh my god, he's my it's son. An honor to have you here, ma'am. Hi. Hi. You look kind of like Anders. You'll achieve great things here. We all do. Okay. <laughs> this is the face of somebody who just can't. Welcome to the Institute, ma'am. Be nice. Excuse me, Doctor. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. If that's how you feel, why not leave? Because we could do so much more. But no, everyone is obsessed with these damn synths. It's wasted potential, that's what it is. In any case, I suppose I should say, well, Hi. 
Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Operating at full capacity. <laughs> I broke! I'm still broke! I, uh... Oh my god, green plants in a Fallout game! God, this place is almost worth preserving just for that. Whoa! Whoa! It must be proud to see all that Father has done, all that he has built. Hi! Uh, um. <laughs> I, uh. I, um. A green plant in a Fallout game! <laughs> Everything is so clean! And, like, Mass Effect y. Hi! Must be we're living in a vault. Yeah! Um. Sure. Uh. This place is beautiful. Almost done. Uh, Just need to tighten up doctor, this primary drive they weren't kidding. You really are here. Hi. Right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father Hi. about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. Well, they had my son and killed my husband. What was it that kept you going all that time? What makes you ask? I'm a complete stranger to you. I suppose when I heard your story, I just... Well, I felt sorry for you. I don't need your pity! You suffered more tragedy than any one person deserves. You don't say! Your whole world is gone. I'm sorry. I know that was a very personal question. Now... I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. Okay. We and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's okay. a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water. And My son's the fucking biggest. And quarters. The work we do might be... I mean, that was an option I thought of, but... but it's at least presented it. So... And he finished, looks like his dad! Does that mean you're on board? <sighs> on board with what? The Institute, of course. Sean implied you operated on a level, if not equal, and at least similar to the rest of us. Curious. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Uh, who built it? Built this place, originally. Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors Science. of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. And you brought in new genetic material, hopefully, or you'd all be inbred. <laughs> digging out tunnels for new facilities. Oh my god, am I grandmother? Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I do young to be a grandmother! That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, Dr. Fillmore. I don't know. What's on your mind? Most of them have lasted long past their production. Uh, I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. Okay. He oversees the major life support and security system. And that was the guy who was yelling at the synth upstairs. Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise. And Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food. Newton. <laughs> he coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. So, Even slaves. So, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. He's not speaking. Of course. Uh, Allie, I'm not done with you. Something I can help you with? Yeah, um... It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. 
How do you? How? A few tricks that help supplement our power budget. Such as? Necessary. We can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. Like what? Solar? Too, thermal? Geothermal? <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. The what? <laughs> uh. I'm gonna go this way. Balls. <laughs> I thought I was going the right way, apparently I was not. Nope! Not dealing with this! Going back this way! Not dealing with it! Not dealing with it! If I don't look at him, I don't have to deal with it! Plants! Plants! Oh my god, it's a gorilla! You're here. Glad you made it. What? The deuce. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Hi! There's still people and so good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, that it's head incredible. of the bioscience division. After all, I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. Why? It's truly amazing. Hold on to our own humanity. Like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our okay. most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the institute. Why don't you share this technology we with the surface? highly specialized breeds of flora. For it wouldn't be hard. Medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. You could take those plants, send like one of your coursers or something to the surface with like some of those plants and the seeds, go to a settlement and go, hey, look. Why keep this to yourself? <laughs> I mean, and, and that's and that and that's right. safe for you guys. Shut up. The gorillas are sensed too. They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm okay. sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I don't know. I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. Why not take this stuff to the surface? You are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. Ah! I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Okay. we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Well, they are wild animals. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Hi. Do you need something? I'm. I'm leaving. God damn it! They've got freaking green plants here. I don't even. I don't even. We're at the end of this video, guys. My name is Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some of Fallout 4. I'll see you all. In the next episode, oh my god, that's grass. <laughs>